Sunday, November 20th, 2022. The Solemnity of Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. The Israelites were expecting a great, rich, strong, and eternal king who would defeat all the enemies of Israel. In the Gospel passage today, God responds to these expectations. We are on Mount Calvary. Jesus is crucified with two bandits at his side, and above him is the inscription, This is the King of the Jews. No throne but a cross. No servants, just insults. No royal garments, just nakedness. What a strange kingship Jesus has. It is the opposite of what people were accustomed to imagining about kings. Unfortunately, many Christians harbor hopes like the Jews. They identify the kingdom of Christ with victories and triumphs. A defeated king on the cross destroys all our projections. One of the two thieves does not understand anything. The only thing he expected from the Messiah was freedom from the torture to which he was subjected. Jesus does not help him. He shows himself unable to meet his request. The second thief is the one who recognizes in Jesus the expected king. Jesus, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. He calls him by name. He considers him a friend the friend of someone who has had a devastated life. He does not consider him a gentleman, but a traveling companion, someone who agreed to undergo, despite being right, the fate of the wicked. He does not expect from Jesus a miraculous deliverance. He asks only to accomplish with him the last steps of his life, which has been a succession of mistakes and crimes. And Jesus promises him, Today, you will be with me in paradise. That was a judgment of the king, as in the judgment scene of Matthew 25. He divides them into sheep and goats. The ones on the left could not recognize when God passed their way. The ones on the right recognized when the Lord passed their way and treated him well. To the one on the right of his cross, he promises a place in his kingdom. The history of these criminals is that of every person. Who has not acted like them? Who has not panned sometimes the life of a brother or sister with hatred, slander, and injustice? Who has not provoked small or big disasters in families, in society, and in the Christian community? It is important for all of us to trust in the mercy of this King. At heart, many continue to think that on the cross, the kingship of Jesus is not well celebrated. That was only an unfortunate moment. The real manifestation will take place at the end of the world. Then the glory of Christ will truly shine. He will come with his army of angels and will show to all, especially to those who crucified him, his almighty power. Before he died, Jesus acquitted his executioners. Will it also be valid at the end? Or was this a provisional statement? Suspect to revision. Are there some who believe that Jesus on Calvary was not in the ideal condition to objectively assess the responsibilities of those who were crucifying him, still less to manifest all his glory? Well, if we still cultivate such thoughts, we have not captured the face of God that Jesus has revealed to us. The trial against those who killed Jesus. And let this be clear, that trial will not be reopened. He absolved his executioners, saved them in the most glorious moment of his life when on the cross he showed his utmost love and mercy. For us, a king triumphs, defeats, humiliates. 
We try in every which way to conform Christ to this image of the kings of this world. We do not want to believe that he wins in the moment in which he loses. In the moment, he gives up his life. This ruler who reigns from a cross disturbs us because he requires that we too offer an unconditional forgiveness to all those who do us harm. With this perspective, the final judgment should not be feared, but should be expected with joy. Stripped of the miseries, the meanness, the pettiness with which we had burdened our minds and hearts, cured of the spiritual blindness that prevented us from understanding the scriptures, we will learn to forgive everyone without condition. And then, only then, will we be able to see him as he truly is. Jesus Christ, our Lord, King of the Universe.